Hi and welcome to Yum Paleo. My name is Jack and today I'm going to be making some pesto zucchini spaghetti with some poached chicken. So to start off with quickly, I'm just going to put the chicken into this pan here and then I'm going to fill it with water and then we're going to bring it to boil. And once it's up to boil then we're going to turn it down to like a light simmer for about 10 minutes and then as soon as it's been on for 10 minutes we're going to turn it down and then we're just going to leave it in that in the hot water for about another 10 to 15 minutes until the chicken breasts are cooked through. And then while all that's doing, we are going to get a start on making the pesto and cooking the zucchini spaghetti. So I'm just going to pour water into here. Now we just have to do it so that it covers the chicken just over the top. Okay, that will do. Then I'm just going to turn this pan on and bring it up to boil. And what we're also going to do is I'm going to add some bit of pepper, salt, and I've got some herbs here, so I'm going to add a bit of tarragon and a bit of, bit of thyme to this, so it will just let it soak into the chicken and give it a, a little bit of flavor at the end. So I'm just going to leave that to get up to boil there. And now we can get started on the pesto. So what I've got here is I've got a third of a cup of walnuts, which I've already put into a, a grinder. So I've just like, it's gone into a little bit, but you can just put it all into the processor and do it all in one go. But I've just done it in my spice grinder. And I've got two cups of fresh basil here. And then I'm going to be adding some, I've got three cloves of garlic, which I'll put into the mix and they'll just be blended up. And also what's going in the water is I've got three dried bay leaves here. So they'll be going in to just give it that little bit of flavor as well. So the water looks like it's starting to bubble already. So I'm just going to check those bay leaves in for now. Just leave that. Okay, so get started on this. So what I'm going to do is just chuck the basil. Actually, I'm going to start chopping up these garlic just into smaller pieces just to help them blend up while they're in there. Now pesto is normally made with parmesan cheese as well in it, so but because it's paley we can't use that but Trust me, this is a great alternative. And you can use pine nuts as well, but I'm going for walnuts today. So what I'm going to do is put some in like that. I might just start to see how that goes. I might have to add, I have to put in half a cup of olive oil as well. Great, so that's blended up really nicely. That was just to get, just to see how it was going. So I'm just gonna add bit by bit. So the rest of the basil leaves will go in. So that's just two, two cups of basil leaves and a third of a cup of walnuts. So I'm just gonna blend these and then I can add, slowly start adding in the half a cup of olive oil. Now remember to keep an eye on the time from when we put the chicken in. So when it starts to boil, then start, start your 10 minute timer then. And then from then on, we'll just wait for the 10 minutes and then turn it all the way down and just let them sit in that hot water for another 10 to 15 minutes. Great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add in half a cup of olive oil. I'm just going to put that in there. Just pour that in. I'm not going to put all of it in quite yet. because I'm just going to judge it how this looks. Then if I feel like it needs more, I'll put the rest in. 
So just whiz it up. Great. And as well, what you might need is a handy spatula to just, because it all, it, it flies around in there and it gets stuck all over the side. So just make sure you scrape it down and maybe get it all back at the bottom, then give it another whiz through. That looks, that's looking really good. Might just add a tiny bit more oil. That'll do. And then, like I said, just get all the sides down. I'm just gonna give it another, another whiz with the blender. Now, if you've just got a hand blender, that'll be fine. You can just make your own pot like this and just whiz it up with the hand blender. Okay, I think that is done. Really easy to do. So there we go, it's looking great. If you feel like it's a bit chunky then just keep going at the blender with it. Now the chicken is starting to bubble, so, well the water is starting to bubble. So I'm just gonna turn it down slightly. I'm just gonna mix. Might just add a, just a bit more water, because the chickens have, just to cover the rest. Now you can turn the chicken over while, while they're cooking as well. I'm gonna add some pepper into this. A Little bit of sea salt. Now this is optional, the salt, of course. Then some dried thyme. And some tarragon. Great. So just because I added a bit more water there, it's just gonna take a bit of time to get back to where it was. But it's already looking great. I've already gone that pale white color, which shows me they're cooking through. And we just need to leave it and let it cook all the way through and they shouldn't be too long away. So what I'm gonna do is leave this for another five to 10 minutes, and then we're gonna turn it off. And once, that's, what's, once that is sitting in the hot water, we're gonna get started on the zucchini spaghetti. And the way that we do that is just, I'm gonna put them into this wok behind me with a bit of oil, just cook them through, fry them through a bit, get them warm. And then I'm gonna take them out and mix it in with the pesto sauce we've got and then that'll be ready to serve with, with the chicken. And also what I might do is cut up some cherry tomatoes to go in with the, the pesto zucchini spaghetti. So if you've got some, then that'd be a great addition. So I'll see you soon in about five to 10 minutes. Hi, and welcome back. So the chicken has been boiling for 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna take that off. Just turn that all the way down, and we're gonna leave this for another, I'd say 10 to 15 minutes. So, just leave that as is, and then what we're gonna do is get started on the zucchini noodles. So, I'm just gonna turn on this hub behind me. Great, I've also put a little bit of oil in this pan as well. So I'm just gonna let that heat up for a second. And while that's doing its thing, I'm just going to cut up some... I've got some cherry tomatoes, which I'm going to check in with the, the noodles as well. So, probably got like about 20 cherry tomatoes here, or 15. So, just going to half these. And once your pan's hot, you can check in the noodles. 
Maybe add a bit of salt and pepper as well. And once they're cooked, we're gonna we're gonna chuck them through with the pesto and the tomatoes that we have here. And then the chicken. Soon after that, the, sh the chicken should be ready to come out. Then we can dish up. So just keep an eye on the time. Remember to wait 10 to 15 minutes. Now you can always take out one of the chicken breasts and cut it in half and see if it's cooked through all the way. And if it has, then you'll be good to go. Okay, so this pan should be heating up quite nicely. So I'm just going to chuck in the zucchini noodles. Great, that was quite a lot there. What I'm going to do just give these a clean. Just going to toss them around in here. Okay, so I've finished doing the zucchini noodles now, and what I'm going to do is I've just drained them slightly as well, so I'm just going to pop them in this bowl here. Then I'm going to mix them through with the pesto and the tomatoes. Great. So just grab that pesto, spoon it in. Great. And check in the tomatoes and just mix it all together. You can use your hands if you want, but I don't really want to get pesto all over them today. Okay, great. So I've already taken out a chicken breast here and put it on the plate. So what I'm going to do is just place some of this, some of the zucchini noodles over the side. There you have it, some pesto zucchini noodles and poached chicken breast. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you here for another recipe.